Now we're going to uh, connect up the 5 volt, which will come from the 5 volt output on the breakout board, and link across to the 5 volt power in. Which is this one here along with its associated ground. As you can see, I'm well prepared. Not. Okay. Here you are. Nice. Did you get that? Did you get to see that? I I think I was off camera, I don't know, I'll check. And I'll have a look at the video. Okay, so that's that one in place. So now we're gonna connect the grounds from this pin here, this pin here, and this pin here. And they all go back to the um, breakout board and the power supply. Right, so the, the ground is common throughout. We now have a ground here, a ground here, a ground here. And I've also put a ground on the central terminal of this group of three on the LN298 uh, end board. Okay, now there's a very good reason why I brought them all out individually. And that is that I didn't want to cause any problems uh, by looping. So I thought if I brought them all to, out to a central point uh, to connect to the power supply and the breakout board, it would obviate any of those problems. Okay. The uh, basic setup for uh, these I've shown you. The other pins, um, they're only there if you're going to really go to town using this one um, for, uh, more accurate, uh, not for more accurate things, but um, to utilise all its abilities. All I wanted was to be able to drive the LN298N uh, stepper driver which it does that beautifully. Okay, so that's that, and uh, now I'm going to do some testing uh, on camera.